garage flooded again, yet another outrageous rainstorm passed through and it dumped about three quarters of an inch of rain in about 10 or 15 minutes. I think it was one of the heaviest rains I've experienced since I've lived here. Not the longest or the worst storm, but the heaviest amount of rain in that period of time. Anyway, so the water backed up worse than I've ever seen it. The drain wasn't clogged at all. It was just completely overwhelmed. You know, I had raked up all that stuff before, because uh, I knew it might rain, so I raked all that stuff up, and so the drain remained clear, but it just reached capacity and was overwhelmed. So, so yeah, the water backed up and it came into the garage. I had taken up the carpet and moved everything out of the way, so nothing got damaged except for this box which it looks like it ended up having a mouse nest in there anyways so I would have had to cancel it out regardless so uh, yeah nothing really got lost or nothing got lost so right now we're drying out again a little bit of residual water under this tarp here uh, but otherwise everything is pretty much dried out already it rained this morning around 5 o'clock, so I, I turn on the, it, the thunder actually woke me up, so I turn on all the fans and the dehumidifiers this morning, let them run for a couple of hours before I went to work. Uh, I already took, or I took out a good amount of the water, and then when I come home, I turn everything back on. However, when I come back home, I didn't use the dehumidifiers. I decided to use this air conditioner. So this is a Frigidaire, allegedly 25,000 BTU, although to me it feels more like a 12, or maybe even a 10. But I decided to give this a try, because I brought this with the intention of this being a backup for the living room. And while I suppose it could still potentially be a backup for the living room, it didn't work very well at all. So, I figured I'd give it a shot as a dehumidifier here in the garage. So, the coil, the stupid R32 coil, I mean it's cold, but like it's barely pulling anything, it's not sweating. It, uh, it's going back cold to the compressor though. The, Return line is sweating. I know some people are claiming that it's out of charge, but it's not. So there's the accumulator there to see. Look at that. It's sweating. So it's got a good charge to it.
see how this works. This might be the new use case for that thing. When I started it when I got home, or no, I didn't start it when I got home. I started it around 5.30 maybe, so about an hour ago. It was, I think, 65 or 68 percent. Let's see. Yeah, 68. And now it's down to 48. So it's pulling it down pretty fast. It hasn't seemed to be having any effect on the temperature whatsoever, which would make sense because the system is in the same place. In fact, in theory, since it's not 100% efficient, it should output more heat than cooling. But, uh, plus, the fan motors are going to throw off some heat, so... I would have expected the temperature to rise a lot, but surprisingly it's not rising much at all. Now this throws off a decent amount of heat. It's nowhere as near as hot as the carrier's condenser gets. In fact, it's, it's not that hot at all towards the bottom. It's pretty hot at the top, but it cools off pretty quick. And all this heat drafts over there into those fans and then it gets pushed under the under the pallets and it dries it out. I think it's gonna dry it out really well. It looks it seems all good over here. There's still some water there but that should be dry out in the next couple of hours I think. So this uh, this might work pretty good. Let's see if I can use the camera to take a look under here. Not real. a few more of these blue blowers. These are really good for drying the floor. They're not that expensive either. They're only like 50 bucks. I really like those. I want another one for the bathroom too. Uh, but I, I like this for in here. This is working. And if it was raining real heavy and I had the sump pump on, it would continue to be an automatic process because the sump pump would just move the moisture out. I could also prop it up higher and put a condensation pump underneath there. Or I could prop it up even higher and just put a five gallon bucket or something underneath there too. So that's interesting. That's working very well. And uh, certainly it's a lot easier just to put this one thing on, let it run and do its thing. And have to have all these dehumidifiers going and have to empty them and everything. This is better. Of course, the, the major, major drawback to this is I can't run the living room air conditioner because it's on the same circuit, but I can go without the living room air conditioner. What I can't go without is a dry garage. So if I have to run this for a day like this and go without the living room air conditioner, I mean, really, that thing is so powerful. I only use it for like a half an hour interval anyways, and I shut it off, so it would not be a big deal at all. To, to just run that for half an hour and come back and put this back on instead. So I think this will work. I think this is a good use case for this machine. And uh, it seems to be pretty effective too. How it will work when the temperature starts to get cooler, that I don't know. Because there's really no way to turn it on other than to like put the thermostat in a bucket of hot water or something. Uh, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. For now, it seems to work pretty good.